hey guys welcome back to clarity chart analysis and in this video i'll be using market structure to tell us our current position of the chills on the price market chart and also using market structure to predict the next possible move of chills but first guys if you're new to this channel i want to make money on both directions of the market you want to know our current position on price market chart this channel is for you please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video so guys on our major structure which is our daily time frame the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside and guys after every break of structure what should we expect we should expect a pullback right so guys are we on a pullback phase you are not yet on a pullback phase because it was this swing that gave us this lower low on our daily time frame and we've not seen price trade above it so guys currently now price is trading between this upper swing and this lower swing of our daily time frame so guys we'll be going to back to a four hour time frame to go see if price is on a pullback phase on our lower time frame guys what do we expect to see on our lower time frame we're expecting to see price give us series of iii and higher lows that which is a opposite direction of trend on our lower time frame so guys coming back to our four hour time frame what do we notice we noticed that it was the same swing that gave us this lower low so guys we've not seen price trade close to it more or less of above it so guys we saw a break of structure from this internal structure to the upside pull back and broke more structure to the upside and guys currently now we've seen price trade below it back telling us that now we are done with the pullback phase and we are back to an impulsive phase on our daily time frame so guys currently now price is now back to a bearish trend on our daily time frame sorry back is price is back to a bearish trend on our four hour time frame which implies that we are back to an impulsive phase on our daily time frame so guys currently now we're trading between this upper swing of our four hour time frame and this lower swing of our four hour time frame guys let's go back to a one hour time frame let's go see if there's any sign of let's go search for more information from our one hour time frame so guys coming back to our one hour time frame it was actually the swing that gave us this low low so price is still on an impulsive phase so guys let's get this straight our daily time frame is still impulsive because we just saw a break of structure to the downside and we're expecting the pullback currently we've not seen price straight to this point so we're still on an impulsive phase while on our four hour time frame we're expecting to see series of iii or a bullish trend on our four hour time frame for us to be on a pullback phase and guys sure we saw the first break of structure this is the second break of structure we're expecting price to trade above this force to be confirmed that we're on a pullback phase but instead of instead of that guys we saw price come back and take out this swing that gave us this ii so guys uh for our time frame is back to a bearish trend and our one hour time frame is also on a on a bearish trend which still tells us that we are still on an impulsive phase on our daily time frame bearish trend on our four hour time frame and bearish trend on our one hour time frame so guys let's get a nice entry point and let's show the market because market structure is telling us that we are still on a bearish trend on all our time frames that we consider on this channel so guys let's trade carefully and let's not lose our ad and money back to the market trading the wrong direction clarity chart analysis is there to give updates on market structure but guys for you not to miss out please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video thank you guys for watching this video